simplification of algebraic expressions okay so simplification is simply the combination of algebraic terms now this is achieved by adding or subtracting like terms so under this topic it's very important that you understand the difference between like terms and unlike terms like terms can be simplified while unlike terms can't be simplified so here's the difference in detail so like terms what are like terms so like terms are expressions with the same variables with the same powers so here are some examples of like terms 10x and 5x so these two expressions are like because they have the same variables with the same powers so that's x and x same variable x on 10 and same variable x on 5 in the same powers so in this case it's just x we can't see the power but you can say x to the power 0 so same variable and same power another example is 6xy and 21xy again same variables with same powers so these are like terms and they can be simplified then we also have 3a 13a and 14a again the same variable a a and a is present in each term therefore these are like terms the last example here is 7a cubed 5a cubed and 66a cubed so here we have the same variable a present in each term then we also have uh, the same power in each term so that's a cubed a cubed and a cubed so that's what makes a term like same variable with the same power on the other hand we have unlike terms so terms are unlike if they have different variables or they have the same variables with different powers so here are some examples 10x and 5y of course x and y are two different variables therefore this expression is unlike Another example is 6xy and 21xy. So here we can see that the expressions have the same variables, but on the second expression, 21xy, it's y squared. But on the first, it's 6xy. So since the powers are different, so this is an unlike term. Another example is 3a, 13b, and 14c. So a, b, and c are different variables. Therefore, this qualifies to be an unlike term. Then the final example here is 7a cubed, 5a squared, and 66a. So here again, in each term, we have a common variable, which is a, but different powers. In the first one, we have cubed, then squared, then just a. Therefore, this term is also unlike. So it's very important that you understand the difference between like terms and unlike terms. So like terms can be simplified, while unlike terms cannot be simplified. So this is the basis of this topic. Let's now take a look at some examples so that we can fully understand the topic. So question number one is simplify 7x plus 3x plus 4y. So whenever given a question like this, the first step is to look for the like terms and group them together. So we can simplify 7x and 3x. So that's going to be the first step. So 7x plus 3x, that's 10x. And then we just add the 4y because x and y are different variables, so we cannot simplify this further so this is the final answer 10x plus 4y second question is simplify 2k minus 6 plus 3k plus 4 so again we look for the like terms and group them together so in this case we have 2k and 3k so let's group those together and then we can push the constants to the right so the first step is going to be to group them together so we have 2k plus 3k then minus 6 plus 4 so 2k plus 3k, since they're like terms, we can add those. So that's 5k minus 2. So the minus 2 is coming from minus 6 plus 4. So minus 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So once we reach here, we cannot simplify this further. So that's the final answer. 5k minus 2. In question number 3, we have simplify 4x minus 9y plus 3 into y plus 2x. So the first step, if you remember from the first unit, we have to solve what's in. The brackets first so let's expand what's in the brackets so it's going to be 3 times y that's 3y and then 3 times 2x that's 6x so let's expand that then we group the like terms together so we get 4x plus 6x then minus 9y plus 3y so when you group them together we get that and then 4x plus 6x is 10x then minus 9y plus 3y is equals to minus 6y so that's the final answer so the key here is to expand what's in the brackets first and then group the like terms. Then question number four, simplify 2a plus 3f 
minus 2 into a plus f. Again, we have to deal with the brackets first. So this negative 2 will multiply everything in the brackets. So it's going to be negative 2 times a, that's negative 2a. And then negative 2 times f, that's negative 2f. So the first step, we expand. And we get 2a plus 3f minus 2a minus 2f. So at this stage, we have to group the like terms. So we're going to get 2a minus 2a plus 3f minus 2f. Now, 2a minus 2a is 0, and then 3f minus 2f is f. So you can say 1f, so you just leave it as f. So that's the final answer. Let's look at further examples from some past paper questions. So question number 1, 2018 GCE paper 1. Simplify 4 into x plus 2y minus 3x minus 8y. So again, we have to expand what's in the brackets. So this 4 will multiply the x and the 2y. And then this negative sign will multiply the 3x and the 8y. So let's expand that. We are going to get 4x plus 8y minus 3x plus 8y. So remember, the 4 is multiplying everything inside the brackets. So we get 4x and then 4 times 2y, that's 8y. Then this negative multiplies everything in that bracket. So we get negative times 3x, that's negative 3x, and then negative times negative 8y, that's positive 8y. When you get to this step, we have to group the like terms together. So we get 4x minus 3x plus 8y and plus 8y. And then 4x minus 3x, that's just uh, x, and then 8y plus 8y is 16y. So that's the final answer, x plus 16y. So the key is to solve what's in the brackets first, expand the brackets, and then group the like terms together. Second question is 2017 paper 1. Simplify 3x minus into y minus 2x minus 3y. So again, we have to expand what's in the brackets first. So this negative multiplies everything in the brackets. It's going to be negative times y, negative y, and then negative times negative 2x, that's positive 2x. So let's expand that. So we're going to get 3x minus y plus 2x minus 3y. So when you get to this stage, again, we have to group the like terms. So we have 3x here and 2x, and then minus y and minus 3y. So let's group them together in the next step. So we're going to have 3x plus 2x, then minus y and minus 3y. And then 3x plus 2x, that's 5x. And then minus y minus 3y, that's minus 4y. So that's the final answer, 5x minus 4y. Question number three, 2016 specimen, paper one. Simplify 5 into 2a minus 3b minus 6a minus 2. Again, you have to expand the brackets and then we can simplify it further. So this 5 will multiply 2a and negative 3b. So it's going to be 10a minus 15b. And then this negative will multiply everything in this bracket again. So it's going to be negative times 6a and then negative times minus 2. So let's expand that. In the first step. So we have 10a minus 15b minus 6a plus 2. So when you get to this stage, again, you have to group the like terms. So we have 10a here and minus 6a. And then uh, those are the only like terms. So we can just simplify those. So we're going to get 10a minus 6a minus 15b plus 2. So like I said, the only like terms here are 10a and minus 6a. So 10a minus 6a, we get 4a and then minus 15b plus 2. So since none of these terms here are like, we have simplified it. So that's the final answer. And then question number 4, 2017 GCE paper 1. Simplify 2a minus 7b minus 2 into a minus 3b. Again, we have to expand the brackets. So this minus 2 will multiply everything in the brackets. Let's expand so we can see it clearly. So we get 2a minus 7b minus 2a plus 6b. So again, we group the like terms. So it's going to be 2a minus 2a, then minus 7b plus 6b. All right, so 2a minus 2a, that's 0. And then minus 7b plus 6b is minus 1. So we can say just minus b. So that's the final answer, minus b. All right, so this concludes the topic on simplification of algebraic expressions. So make sure you practice as many questions as possible and remember the difference between like terms and unlike terms.